Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered, why? Why are we all here? What's out there? And how does it all work? Well, you're certainly not alone. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the big why. I'm just as curious as you are about the universe and everything in it. From the depths of the ocean to the furthest reaches of space, no question is too big, no topic too strange for us. We'll crack open the mysteries of black holes, journey to the edge of the universe, and explore the mind-blowing discoveries that are changing our world. So if you're ready to unleash your inner scientist, ask the tough questions, and explore the universe alongside me, then buckle up, and let's ask why. Time carves its stories into the very fabric of the Earth, and forgotten ruins and whispers lost to the wind. Today, we'll be talking about the archaeologists who have dedicated their lives to search for these forgotten stories, buried beneath the Earth. Imagine being the scientist who unearthed a giant samurai sword in Japan, or being the one who discovered a giant viking ship buried in Norway. It may not have been you this time, but today we'll be going over the archaeologists who did, and the future discoveries that they could lead to. And who knows, maybe I'll be talking about your scientific discovery next. Coming in at number 10, we have Italy's Tome of Cerberus. Deep beneath the sun-drenched hills of Italy, a chilling secret slumbered for centuries. Whispers of a hidden tomb, guarded by a creature of myth, echoed through the ages. But in 2023, these whispers became a reality. During a routine survey for a construction project, Archaeologists stumbled upon an intact chamber tomb estimated to be a staggering 2,000 years old. This remarkable find has been dubbed the Tomb of Cerberus, after a captivating fresco depicting the three-headed guardian of the underworld from Greek mythology. The scene showcases the legendary hero Hercules confronting Cerberus, suggesting a possible connection between the occupant of the tomb and the afterlife. But the Tomb of Cerberus holds more secrets than just Cerberus. Other frescoes adorn the walls, including one featuring a cupid-like figure and fantastical creature known as an ichthyocentaur, with the upper bodies of humans and the lower halves of horses and fishtails. Archaeologist Valentina Russo perfectly captures the excitement of the discovery, stating, The excitement was enormous. The team is currently in the midst of excavating the tomb, and they also plan to explore the surrounding necropolis, a potential graveyard that could offer even more clues about the people buried here and their beliefs. This discovery was made in October of 2023, and the team of archaeologists was led by Dr. Simona Formola. Coming in at number 9 is the lost Mayan city, Ocumthun. Deep within the jungles of Mexico's Campeche state lies a hidden world, a haven for diverse flora and fauna. But this ecological preserve holds another secret, a story whispered through the ages. For centuries, a lost Mayan city slumbered in the embrace of the jungle, invisible on maps and shrouded in mystery. Now, a team of determined archaeologists armed with machetes and chainsaws have carved a path through the dense undergrowth to reach this forgotten treasure. They call it Okumtum. It was a bustling metropolis where pyramids pierced the sky and plazas teemed with activity. A grand ball court echoed with memories of ancient competition, while elaborate terraces speak to the ingenuity of the Maya people. Okumtum thrived during the classic Maya era, roughly between 250 and 900 AD, before being swallowed by the jungle for over a thousand years. Dr. Ivan Spreichs, the lead archaeologist behind the groundbreaking discovery, acknowledges the challenges of such expeditions. It's not an easy job, he says. Dense vegetation and rugged terrain make these journeys arduous, often requiring months of dedicated effort. But modern technology has revolutionized the game. LiDAR, a tool that utilizes airborne lasers, cuts through the jungle canopy, revealing hidden structures beneath. This technology, coupled with the unwavering determination of archaeologists like Spreichs, has opened a new chapter in Mayan exploration. Hokum Thun's location adds another layer of intrigue. It lies within an empty zone on archaeological maps, an area previously unexplored and undocumented. This discovery suggests that many more secrets might be waiting to be unearthed in the vast Mayan jungles. Hokum Thun boasts a unique layout, including plazas, elite residences, and a central pyramid towering 50 feet above the ground. But what truly sets the city apart are the strange complex with structures arranged in coincentric circles, a feature unseen in other Mayan settlements. A captivating clue to the city's past was found during the excavation, a block with hieroglyphs, seemingly brought from another Mayan settlement, possibly as spoils of war. This discovery hints at the complex political landscape of the Mayan world. Okumthun also reveals the Maya's remarkable adaptability. Agricultural terraces, a testament to their engineering skills, demonstrate their ability to thrive in challenging environments. Coming in at number 8 is a 3,100-year-old city discovered in China. 
Beneath the modern cityscape of Nanjing lies a hidden chapter waiting to be unearthed. Archaeologists have made a remarkable discovery, the ancient city of Chang'an, its origins dating back a staggering 3,100 years. This groundbreaking find rewrites the history of Nanjing, pushing back its documented timeline by centuries. Chang'an emerges from the shadows, revealing a vibrant and strategic settlement nestled amidst the West Street ruins, close to the iconic porcelain tower. This fortified city was strategically positioned amidst natural barriers like the Yangtze and Qinghuaichu rivers, hills, and ridges. Unearthed moats and sturdy wall foundations hint at Chang'an's defensive capabilities, showcasing a well-planned city prepared to safeguard its inhabitants. The unearthed treasures tell captivating stories. Ceramic pieces adorned with triangular decorations hint at cultural exchange between northern and southern China during this era. These artifacts, along with ritual food vessels, known as dingware and swine bones offer a glimpse into the daily lives and rituals of Chang'an's residents. The story of Chang'an doesn't end here. Plans are underway to transform the excavation site into an archaeological park, a testament to the city's rich history. This park will not only preserve Chang'an's legacy, but also allow the public to connect with the captivating chapter in Nanjing's past. Coming in at number 7, we have a cave of swords discovered in Israel. In September of 2023, archaeologists in Israel made a remarkable discovery near the Dead Sea. They unearthed a hidden cave containing a cache of four remarkably well-preserved Roman swords. These swords are estimated to be around 1,900 years old, dating back to the Roman era. Despite their age, the swords are remarkably well-preserved. The wooden and leather hilts and scabbards were found alongside the sharp steel blades. Experts believe they were hidden in the cave relatively undisturbed for nearly two millennia. They also believe the swords were captured by Jewish rebels during the Bar Kochba Revolt, a second century uprising against Roman rule. The rebels may have hidden the weapons in the cave for safekeeping. This discovery offers a fascinating glimpse into warfare and rebellion during the Roman era. The exceptionally well-preserved swords provide valuable insights into Roman military technology and craftsmanship. The archaeologists were from the Israel Antiquities Authority. Coming in at number 6 is a Christian image found in Sudan. Archaeologists have made a remarkable discovery in Old Dongola, a deserted town that once served as the capital of the Nubian kingdom, Makuria. A network of hidden rooms containing stunning Christian artwork dating back to the medieval era has been found beneath the seemingly ordinary house. This discovery offers a captivating glimpse into the faith and artistic expressions of early Christian communities in Sudan. The artwork features a scene unlike any other scene in Nubian paintings. A king believed to be King David in Makaria bows before Christ, who sits majestically in the clouds. Archangel Michael, with outstretched wings, offers protection to both the king and Christ. This powerful image hints at the deep devotion of the rulers and the significance of Christianity in Makoria. Dr. Lorenzo de Lelis and Dr. Maciej Weisgall, archaeologists from the Polish Center of the Mediterranean Archaeology, led the excavation. They believe the artwork was created around 1276 CE, a pivotal moment in Nubian history. Researchers speculate that the artwork may have been created during a time of crisis. The Mamluk army approached the city and Egypt invaded Nubia in retaliation for an attack by King David. The creation of the scene might reflect the king's fervent prayers for protection. Preserving this remarkable discovery is a top priority. The Polish Center of Mediterranean Archaeology is working alongside the Academy of Fine Arts to meticulously conserve the artwork. Detached sections of the wall paintings have been secured and protective measures are in place. Archaeologists plan to return in the fall to further explore the site. They aim to determine if this complex of rooms served as a royal commemorative space offering even more insights into the history of Makaria. Coming in at number 5, we have a 3,000 year old sword found in Germany. Archaeologists in Germany have unearthed a captivating discovery, a 3,000 year old sword in remarkably well preserved condition. This find was made in the southern Bavarian town of Nordlingen. This exceptionally well preserved sword sheds light on the weaponry and metalworking skills of the Bronze Age people who inhabited this region. Imagine a sword crafted around 1400 BC. This remarkable weapon boasts an octagonal bronze hilt, a testament to the skilled techniques of Bronze Age smiths. The blade, despite its age, shows minimal signs of wear, hinting at its potential ceremonial use or symbolic significance.
Experts believe the sword was buried alongside the remains of a man, woman, and child. This discovery raises questions about the societal roles and burial practices of this ancient civilization. Was this sword a symbol of status or prized possession meant to accompany the deceased into the afterlife? The discovery of the Nordlingen sword is significant for several reasons. Firstly, it highlights the exceptional metalworking skills of the Bronze Age. Secondly, the well-preserved condition offers a rare glimpse into the weaponry of this era. Finally, the context of the burial site sparks curiosity about the social structure and beliefs of these ancient people. Coming in at number 4, we have a giant Dakogen sword found in Japan. Archaeologists made another remarkable discovery in Japan, a giant Dekogen sword, its size and craftsmanship unlike anything found before. This colossal weapon was found in the Tomio Maruama burial mound, located near the city of Nara. Dating back over 1500 years, this sword offers a glimpse into the beliefs and warrior culture of Japan's Kofun period. This sword measures a staggering 2.3 meters, which is 7.7 .7 feet in length. This massive blade, with its slightly curved shape reminiscent of a snake, is a quintessential example of a Dakogen sword. These weapons are associated with the veneration of serpent deities and were believed to possess protective powers. Experts believe this enormous sword was likely not intended for battle. Its sheer size suggests a more ceremonial purpose, perhaps wielded by a priest or used as a symbolic guardian to protect the deceased in the afterlife. The Iron Blade, despite its age, showcases the remarkable metallurgical skills of Kofun period in Japan. The craftsmanship and size of this weapon inspire awe and hint at the advanced metalworking techniques possessed by these ancient people. Coming in at number 3, we have lost Roman forts discovered. In 2023, archaeologists made a remarkable discovery using an unlikely tool, a Cold War era spy satellite. By repurposing these declassified images, researchers have identified a network of previously unknown Roman forts scattered across northern England. This discovery rewrites our understanding of Roman military strategy and border control in Britain. Imagine a network of hidden forts strategically positioned across the landscape. These satellite images reveal the distinctive shapes of these Roman outposts, some even preserving details like defensive walls and training grounds. Experts believe these forts played a crucial role in securing the northern frontier of Roman Britain. They provided vital outposts for troop deployment, communication, and surveillance, helping to maintain Roman control over the region. The discovery of this network sheds light on the daily lives of Roman soldiers stationed in these forts. Imagine the routines of training, patrolling, and safeguarding the borders. This find offers a fascinating glimpse into Roman military organization and the realities of life on the edge of the empire. Coming in at number two, we have a medieval village found in France. Archaeologists in France have stumbled upon a hidden chapter of history, a medieval village nestled beneath the ruins of Baymont Abbey. This find offers a captivating glimpse into the daily life of ordinary people during the Middle Ages. Baymont Abbey, located outside the city of Tours in the Loire Valley, was a flourishing Benedictine monastery for centuries. However, beneath the abbey's imposing facade lies a hidden world. Recent excavations revealed the remains of an entire medieval village, meticulously preserved beneath layers of time. Imagine a vibrant village built around the abbey with houses clustered together along narrow streets. Archaeologists have unearthed the foundations of houses, workshops, where artisans plied their trades, and even a bakery that likely filled the air with the aroma of fresh bread. This discovery brings the medieval world to life, allowing us to envision the daily routines of blacksmiths, farmers, merchants, and other residents. The excavation of the village is meticulously documented by studying the unearthed artifacts, such as pottery shards, tools, and personal belongings. Archaeologists can piece together the social structure, economy, and daily routines of this medieval community. These finds offer insights into everything from cooking habits to clothing styles. The discovery also sparks questions about the relationship between the villagers and the abbey. Did the abbey provide employment and protection to the villagers? Did the villagers in turn contribute to the abbey's prosperity? This intriguing find sheds light on the complex social dynamics within the medieval religious community. And finally, coming in at number one, we have a Viking ship burial discovered in Norway. Archaeologists recently unearthed another discovery in Norway, a Viking ship burial, a magnificent testament to the maritime prowess and burial practices of these legendary Norse warriors. This Viking ship burial 
offers a glimpse into the beliefs and traditions of the Viking Age. The site itself is awe-inspiring, a well-preserved Viking ship likely used for both warfare and exploration, lies carefully laid to rest within a burial mound. Experts believe this wasn't just a vessel, but a chariot for the deceased's final voyage to the afterlife. As archaeologists excavate the site, further treasures are revealed. Weapons, tools, and personal belongings buried alongside the ship offer clues about the identity and social status of the deceased. Was this the final resting place of a revered chieftain, a fearless warrior, or a skilled navigator? Each unearthed artifact whispers a story. A finely crafted sword speaks of battles fought and victories won. Delicate jewelry hints at the importance of adornment and social status. These objects, preserved for centuries, offer a tangible connection to the lives of these Viking people. By studying the ship's burial and its contents, archaeologists can piece together Viking funerary practices. Imagine a dramatic ceremony where the ship is set ablaze sending the deceased on a fiery journey to the halls of Valhalla. There you have it, why nots? The top 10 archaeological discoveries of 2023. This world is a strange and wonderful place full of mysteries just waiting to be uncovered. But the journey is far from over. We still have countless questions and whys to explore. So don't forget to drop a like and a follow, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.